we have almost arrived. We've been working at Christmas at the gathering since the first Sunday of Advent, where we have talked about many things that have to do with the simplicity and, and the joyful simplicity of understanding what God is saying to us through Christmas, through the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, we talked a little bit about the yearning that was alive in Jesus' day, and it is alive in our day, how people are waiting, hoping, praying for something different, something hopeful, some change, something they can trust and believe in. The world is simply waiting, we decided. We also talked about the simple plan of a king being simply born, not coming for a coronation or riding a chariot, but being born in a manger, a little spot that probably was only for the stable animals, but it was good enough for that plan to begin as God wanted to know us face to face. And that plan has been lived out ever since through Jesus Christ. We also talked about adoration, how in our life, Understanding how holy it is to know Jesus and to try to follow him, we simply sometimes just adore him, reach out to him, praise him, hope that he will help us. And then last Sunday, we talked about salvation. Uh, it's simply the best gift given that God would come to earth and offer us salvation. So Christmas Eve is upon us. And we have a really nice service prepared for you to come and you participate and sing and praise and remember old carols. And there'll be a short word of encouragement to you. There'll be some beautiful music that will move you. And there'll be a time together where we will worship this Christmas. And I'll tell you, it's hard. Christmas has become so commercial that it's hard for us sometimes to stop and say, whoa, let's be still and know that he is God this season as well. I suggest you push away from the wrap presents, uh, quit worrying about the holiday schedule, take a little time away from other noise and distraction, and take that walk where you thank God for his goodness. Spend that time reading the scripture and thinking about it where you're grateful for what he's done for you. Pick up the phone and call someone who needs your love and your care and let them know you're there, even as Christ has done that for us. Love others who are in struggle and difficulty right now. There is no better Christmas celebration than reaching to someone in need. Uh, celebrate Christmas in a way that is meaningful, hopeful, but also worthy of what the true message is. I would remind you that we are taking up a little offering for those who are severely damaged near Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, we have a really great contact there who will make sure every dime is put in a place where it is needed. You can write a check and mark it for disaster relief, and we will make sure that it goes out. Uh, you can write it to the church. It will certainly be tax deductible and all that good stuff, but it will truly be something that honors Christmas, I think. We will meet on Sunday the 26th. If you are here in town, we will worship on that day as well. And I hope that you'll come and be a part of that service if possible. If you're traveling or if you've got all your family with you or whatever the case is, I just wish you a happy and a joyful Christmas. Uh, it is simply the best time of the year. See you soon.